The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Ottawa. Parents are adapting to the COVID-19 confinement. Many are underslept, overworked, with little time to unwind and recharge. It leads to short tempers. Some are racked with guilt and feel inadequate because they're less attentive to their children's needs. So what do parents do? Are you worried that you're not properly tending to your child's emotional needs and that it will impact her sense of security? In that case, practice something called good enough parenting. You don't need to get it right all the time. You don't need to be a mind reader. A successful parent is one that is good enough at identifying and responding appropriately to their children's needs. Don't put undue pressure on yourself. You will fail to get creative and responsive, which is exactly what kids need from us. If there's tension, if there's conflict, work through it together. That is going to make resilient kids. Are you worried that your child is missing out on key experiences and that you're not providing her with the stimulating environment she needs? More and more experts are convinced that parents are already providing babies and children with all the different kinds of experiences that they need. Use a lot of language in the house. Create imaginary worlds. Draw. Read books. Tell stories. Bang pots and pans together. Kids are flexible and are great at taking advantages of different experiences. They don't need specific early experiences to live through in order to develop properly. We don't need to cram their brains full of stimulation and information. Your kid is an only child. How does one develop socialization skills when she's missing out on interacting with other kids in daycare, for example? Prioritize activities and games that develop skills such as empathy, sharing, turn-taking and compromise. Get them to learn how to listen and tell stories, how to set and change rules and when to lead and when to follow. How can parents be a good substitute for a playmate and develop a kid's imagination and sense of wonder? When you schedule some time for unstructured play, Make sure that the environment is safe for play and then take a back seat. Let them make mistakes. Let them explore and experiment. And that's how they begin to understand the world. And finally, how do you handle a kid who wants to help with chores? It's quicker to do them yourself. Will she lose some of her independence and confidence? Oftentimes, saying no means enduring a tantrum. To avoid it, Assign her a smaller task before doing your own. Maybe break that big chore into little parts so that they can do it. If they're good at it, push them a little more and so on. You will build their confidence. This story was adapted from Sabrina Daniels' Gazette article in University of Ottawa, Adjusting to Life as a Stay-at-Home Working Mom.